Hey, Facebook friends and family. We are here with Bishop Gary McIntosh. Super excited. He's one of our speakers at the four day deep dive coming up November 10th through the 14th. We are thrilled to have you, Bishop. Thrilled. I am really excited about being here. I missed last year, but I heard all these glowing reports. So I'm going to be there for this year. It was incredible. It was incredible. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about who Bishop has been in my life since 2004 when I moved to Tulsa. He has been my pastor. And once Tony and I got married, he became our pastor. And um, so we have, we go back a ways. <laughs> we do. In fact, your wedding was in our living room. Uh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That is right. Well, Bishop, if someone were to come up and ask you, who, who are you? What would be your answer? I'm a servant of God that's tried to do the will of God and touch people's lives. I've focused a lot lately just on pastors and kind of finding the church and where it's at and helping pastors navigate their churches. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And um, his daughter said one time that he is the master shipbuilder if the church was a ship. And we wholeheartedly agree. I know that in the midst of um, the church, it was going great. The Lord told Bishop to hand the church over, totally debt-free, completely hand over the keys, the full, the full church, everything about the church, to a man who had no seminary, barely had a daily quiet time. Um, it was just out of obedience to Absolutely. God. Absolutely. And yeah. what happened to that church? Well, <laughs> it kind of exploded worldwide. <laughs> and now we're in 80 countries and hundreds of thousands oh. of people consider it their home church. Wow. And salvations are through the roof. This church. year, 32,000 alone. Did and you hear that? 32,000. 32, Thousand and these salvations. people have written in and said, I made a decision for Christ. It wasn't just a show of hands and that kind of thing. You know what I mean? These are actual people that we follow up with. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. The Lord gave me a vision um, years ago when the church was over at a location close to us. And it was a kettle and it would tip one way and then it would sway and tilt the other way. And if it tilted one way, it was just about to pour over. It was molten gold. But as it tilted the other direction, if it would have poured out, it would have been lava, hot, mm. melted lava. And finally, when the Lord did let it tip, it was gold. And so everything that poured out when it went out to the ground, everything above it would turn to gold. So if it went onto the floors, the whole walls turned gold. If it went on out, which it did, it went down the stage, it went down into the sanctuary, out into the lobby and on into the streets. And the Lord told me that if you would not have been obedient mm -hmm. to hand that church over when God said that kettle would have tilted the other direction and it would have brought certain death to the church. But out of your obedience, everything that they touch is turning to gold by God, just by God. So Amen. we are so excited, yeah. super excited. Um, so we have you speaking in one of the main sessions and what can people expect to hear? Well, I, I, my big focus now is finding the church. The sons of Issachar, remember when all the, the tribes were reporting how many warriors they had? And then this tribe of Issachar comes up and it says they understood the times and knew what the Israel should yes. do. Yes. That's where I'm at in this hour. I am finding the church and helping it navigate into the future. And so that's my assignment. And I rarely speak on any other subject than that, just because that's, that's where I'm at. And I feel like that's my best message is, is to share where I'm at and what I'm seeing. Great, yeah. great. That's a lot of what this conference is about. It actually kind of stemmed from us hearing a woman named Jenna Winston speak. And Jenna was the um, prophetic deliverance ministry pastor at Bethel Church in Reading, but she didn't teach. 
she just told stories mm. her story and you could hear if you had a spiritual ear you could hear chains falling off of people everywhere by her just telling her story so then we started thinking about the scripture that says we overcome by the blood of the lamb the word of our testimony and that we love our lives not even unto death so if you think about the, the blood of the lamb and that we love our lives not even enough to die but the Lord put in there our stories, our stories. Mm -hmm. So everybody has a story and we are gonna to try to help people to see what they have in them and help them figure out how to communicate it. But also because of the generations, Gen X and Gen, Gen Y and Gen Z, um, you can't keep doing stuff as normal or you can't. will not earn the right to be heard by them. That's right. And I can tell you that if you're thinking about coming to the conference, you need to plan on coming to the conference because Tony and Christy hear from God and God will be present, lives will be changed, and you can't afford to miss this one. That's right. Well, we are so excited. And so you have the session where you're going to be speaking to pastors and ministry leaders at breakfast. Are you going to talk about succession plans? I will. Great. I will. Great. We have talked to pastors. Um, the newest one was a pastor in Muskogee. And when we mentioned what you were doing, he said, I have to be there. Because he and his wife had just been talking about what are we going to do with the church? You know? And I want to encourage you, if you're a pastor, I'm going to be real and upfront. I'm going to deal with the whole process. And uh, you just don't want to miss it. So make the conference. But if you can't come to anything else, come to the breakfast. But I would encourage you to come to all this because all of this is going to be filled with the word of the Lord. Yes, yes. And we haven't even had a chance to tell you this yet, but we were approached by Charisma Media to build a podcast that they want to support. And one of those people is going to come on and do a Zoom and talk to our audience about why it's important to have a podcast um, why it's different than just having social media yeah. and how you can reach this generation through their podcasts. So that's going to be one of the sessions. Anyway, we've got it so chock full of stuff that you guys are absolutely going to love it. You're going to be blown away. There'll be lots of ministry, lots of hands-on ministry, and lots of um, activation. Like you will literally, I say it's not even a conference, it's more of a action plan. You will be able to go home with tools, literally step by step, on how to take next steps. And Bishop, we could not be more thrilled that you're with us. Thank you. It's my joy. I look forward to it. And I hope you're making your, your, your definitions and your clarity and what you need for hear from God, that you're making a plan to come and be a part of this conference. You will, will be greatly blessed. That's right. That's right. The Lord never lets us down. When he says put together a conference, he shows up and it gets crazy. It's just incredible. So go to www.hillpropheticscom The first page that pops up is going to be about the conference and you can find out how to register there and you can get all the details about the conference there. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, Bishop. See you there. Yes. Bye.